Hi everybody, I've had a couple of questions about how I get the Daisy Editor to work with Daisy Experimental, and I guess how to get mods to work with Daisy Experimental. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So there's my Daisy, if I'm playing normal Daisy, I click on that icon on my PC. If I wanna play Daisy Experimental, I open up the Daisy Experimental um, version of Daisy, um, and then we're into the launcher. Um, and then you'll go into the go into the mods, and what you do is you, you don't copy the mods from your Daisy Workshop into the Daisy Experimental Workshop folder. You just click on here. You can click on Local Mod. And when you click on Local Mod, go to um, where your mods are in the ordinary Daisy. So it will be something like. Um, uh, so, let's go. so it's in the workshop order, so it'd be in something like program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Daisy workshop. If you're using Daisy Experimental, um, you'll know where your works, your normal Daisy workshop folder is, and then you can just click on a like Daisy editor there, and that will then edit, that will then add it in. Now I'm not going to select it because I've already done that. Now to get Daisy editor working, you need Daisy editor and you need Dabs framework. Um, that uh, so you need Dabs Framework, Daisy Editor, and normally you'd have builder items as well, but you don't have to have builder items. You can start it without builder items, and because I'm really looking at the things that you'd be able to do on console, I don't want builder items. But let's do something else. Let's say more doors. So if I click on more doors there and select folder, and then I scroll down into the list of available mods, you see more doors is now there. Um, and the advantage of doing it this way is that when that gets updated automatically when you fire up Daisy, you know, if there's been an update, it will automatically update it. You don't have to keep copying mods over from the Daisy ordinary workshop folder to the Daisy experimental folder. And in fact, if you click down here, click on those three dots and look op um, open folder in Windows Explorer, you'll see see where we are. We're in the Daisy workshop folder, not the Daisy experimental workshop folder. Um, and then as far as um, uh, using Daisy Editor, you know, so it what it does, it changes the name. I don't, I don't know whether there's something about the name. So that is Daisy, that is Dabs Framework String DF underscore name, and the editor mod name. That's those two there. Now I just happen to have Community Framework and Zombie Admin Tools. Actually, you might need Community Framework as well. Sorry, you might need Community Framework as well for um, for editor to work. So make sure you import that one as well, um, and then you just click play, and that will then go into the editor. You don't go into a server or anything with them. Um, with Daisy Editor. So there we go, that is how you launch the Daisy Editor with uh, Daisy Experimental. Hopefully that's useful. If it has been, hit like, if you want to see me on the same press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.